James Neville and Ken Davis preview this weekend's massive matchup between Ohio State and Notre Dame, with NBC's Catherine Tappan and Joey Kaufman of the Columbus Dispatch breaking down Saturday's game. Later, Ken and James dissect Iowa Penn State and Rutgers Michigan, and share their predictions for the week ahead in the Big Ten. A matchup of top 10 teams will take center stage on Saturday night, with Ohio State taking on Notre Dame in South Bend. The Buckeyes won last year's matchup, and in fact have won their last five meetings against the Fighting Irish. The last victory for Notre Dame in the all-time series between the schools came all the way back in 1936. Which players will be key for Notre Dame as they try to end that losing streak? Who for the Buckeyes could help continue the run? Here are six players you'll need to keep an eye on Saturday night. While Marvin Harrison Jr. rightfully gets tons of headlines for the Buckeyes, Egbuka is no slouch himself. With 12 catches for 167 yards and three touchdowns in three games so far this season. In last season's matchup between the schools, Egbuka had a coming out party of sorts, with nine catches for 90 yards and a touchdown in the Buckeyes' victory. Estime only had 21 rushing yards in last season's loss to Ohio State but he has been on an absolute tear so far this season, with 521 yards and 5 touchdowns in 4 games for the Fighting Irish so far this season. While Notre Dame's passing game has stolen plenty of headlines this season thanks to the strong play of Sam Hartman, Estime cannot be overlooked especially after a week that saw him rack up 176 yards and a touchdown against Central Michigan. The Buckeyes' pass rush is going to be in for a tough challenge against Joe Alt and company, but Sawyer could be a key component if Ohio State's defense is going to get that pressure home. In their Week 3 win over Western Kentucky, Sawyer racked up seven pressures and two quarterback hits, according to Pro Football Focus. Sawyer did not play in last year's game between the schools, but his stat line for the season isn't an accurate reflection of just what a dominant force he can be. The Irish would love nothing more than to put pressure on Ohio State's linebackers, and Stays could be a key component in that part of the game. He has only six catches in four games, but four of those have gone for touchdowns, and he has 123 yards in the receiving game. Lastly the video concludes with a request to subscribe to the channel and receive the latest updates.